Jane. This is a really, really good book. Okay. IDW Calamity Jane. Biographical. Thick. Hardcover. Retails at beep, 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 30 bucks. You can get it cheaper somewhere online. Um, this is great. This was a recommendation. I was at Collector's Paradise in Pasadena, California, a comic shop, doing a signing right next to the great Matt Wagner. Yeah, that Matt Wagner, who does Grindel and everything, right? He looked at my book, Prime Missouri, and says, oh, this reminds me of a book, Have You Read Calamity Jane? I'm like, no, what are you talking about? Calamity Jane. Gestural, watercolored, western, I'm talking about Calamity Jane. Let's dive into this wonderful book made by two Frenchmen, how IDW grabbed it and put it in Americana, and um, why the French are doing stories about our people, I don't know. But, well, they love, as we, you saw in my Blueberry video, the Italians and the French, they be loving some America West, okay? So, um, great book. Let's dive into this mama and talk about Calamity Jane. Very good book. Let's go. Okay, everybody, let's dive into Calamity Jane. So, cover, dress, really um, think the world of it. Again, very gestural, um, loose, with this really pretty kind of watercolor. It's created by these two characters, uh, <laughs> Christian uh, Parisian. I'm sorry, I do not know how to pronunciate uh, French names. And Matau Blanchine. I'm just gonna say it that way. Apologize for you French guys. Um, Christian is a writer, um, was going into film, did some film work, did TV writing, and then got into comics. Did a book with humanoids called El Nino, which uh, won some awards, it's supposed to be really good. Uh, Matau is a you know artist. I think he's done one or two things before this, but I didn't get too much info on him um, but this is a great book it's very real it's very gritty it's very uh, it reads like an autobiography and I can't remember there it is based on a book and I'd have to look up what that book is but this is just a brilliant story about this woman's life and if you want to read about a woman and what she has to go through to live through these times in the 1800s, uh, this is your book. I mean, she was a, you know, what I know of Calamity Jane is from the Deadwood show, right? Which is only a small um, slice of her life. You know, she was in Deadwood, but she was in all these other places. She was a scout. She helped the Mormons across the trail. She did this, that, and the other. She had kids. She was married. I mean, all kinds of insanity. And uh, this really encapsulates a lot of that. So it's very historically accurate. It goes through her life. And by the end of it, your heart just kind of breaks. Um, it's just a very, um, it's just a heart-wrenching tale about this, this person who tries to, to, goes through so much adversity. Um, really enjoy these very organic, <clears throat> Panels. When I talk about Nausicaa pretty soon here uh, this month, we're going to talk about these panel borders. It does kind of remind me of some of the the, the look of that Nausicaa. And maybe part of it is the ink. There, It's not true black. It's got a bit of a dark brown kind of color to it, which I think lends, um, unless it's just my eyes saying that, but I feel like it's not super black. I feel like there's a little bit of a brown in there. Um, you know really dig it. I would love to see the originals. Love to see how he did this. Some of the pages and panels are, you know, fully kind of watercolor treated and some are just a simple uh, gestural. You know, it looks like he's using a lot of brush here. Very loose. Um, really great, great book. Again, IDW, this was 30 bucks and it's definitely um, something that 
that you would enjoy and uh, kind of study and look at. Starts off her as a young as a young girl and kind of goes through her life and and through all the different cities and places she's been and all these I mean near death experiences like all the time and these moments where she's a hero and a moments where she may be a little bit more of a villain and it's in that re reality look at these great great kind of rendered shots um, in my book that I'm working on um, which takes place in Arkansas there's a lot of these scenes in the woods and such and so this is something I can really study on how to do how to kind of render these trees and these forests and these kind of distances so really well done very dynamic that's a great little panel right there um, and then he then he goes into snow and snow's tricky too there's a certain way to do it you know using a lot of sparse lines and a lot of just like light water watercolors to kind of put those shapes down um, Brilliant stuff. The rendering on the face is great too. He has a great style. Um, there's a couple rough scenes though. Let me just warn you. It's not for the faint of heart. It's uh, definitely a, a gripping tale. And he's got these moments too where it, he kind of goes into some history. So this is more of the narrative. And then, and then he'll kind of go into these couple pages of uh, kind of a little bit more maybe an academic look or a erudite look on what was going on in the times uh, in the political structure socio-economic area you know all that kind of stuff so you're getting a look at that as well so it's a good history it's a good background and then we're back into the narrative of her her story and look at that rain that rain's really cool that turned out really nice yeah this is a really really well done book Again, highly, highly recommend it. It's one that I, I don't just put all these videos. And I notice a lot of the views, you know, my biggest views are things like Chris Ware, the Mobius, um, Sienkiewicz. And then the, lo the lower views things are, uh, of course, some of the movie reviews, which didn't really quite fit necessarily, although I do think they, they fit. Um, like Alias, you know, by Brian Michael Bendez. So you guys really are more interested in perhaps the more esoteric or the European or kind of the indie alt scene than the, you know, Marvel DC, which is fine. That's what I like. That's really kind of what this channel is about. But I was surprised because go back and watch The Alias by my, Brian Michael Bendis and uh, Michael Gatos. It's very well done. It's a really good crime story. If you like that kind of real crime stuff, it's really good. So... Uh, but but I, I think you guys, those of you who really dug Mobius and those other uh, kind of European books, I think you would dig this. And so, um, yeah, I just want to show you a little bit of this stuff. Really well done. I think we'll keep it, keep it at that. Um, I don't want to spoil anything. But I love, I do love, he's using panels and then he does a breakaway, right? And I, I really always like this kind of look. He doesn't do it all the time, but he's doing it for himself. And then he's got he's got a lot of these nice, really nice like landscapes, which you know you look at this. This took some time. This wasn't just uh, you know I'm saying that it's sketchy or that it's uh, expressive, but there's a rendering here. You know he's he's taking a lot of time with these hills and forests and, and things, so it's not done um, necessarily quickly or. Or without consideration, he's putting a lot in here. So there's a lot of nice detail and things. Like oh, look at this page. This is a great page there. Yeah, the newspaper is coming down. That's a great one. And this one too. That tree. That tree is really well done. Got some maps, some old school maps, which I like. Yeah. So very well done. Beautiful book. Heartwarming. Well, heart wrenching rather tale. And uh, I. Totally recommend it. I don't want to show you any more of this. You might get spoiled. Um, there you go. This is Calamity Jane. Again, IDW. Christian and Matau. Wonderful, wonderful uh, storytellers. Uh, there you go. Get it. Check out my other videos here. Subscribe to the channel. I have a bunch of new stuff coming out pretty soon. I'm going to talk about Nausicaa. 
I'm gonna do uh, Daro, um, Darwin Cook's uh, Parker series. I'm gonna do Prince Valiant. I'm gonna do a bunch of things like that. And as well as Love and Rockets, and then some like stuff that I'm up to, um, my new graphic novel, all that kind of thing. Check out my Patreon. I got a lot of new comics there. 90% uh, of that Patreon stuff is free, so they're public posts. Check out what I'm doing creatively and see if there's something that grabs you. Thanks guys, have a good one, bye.